Hey, Ray, welcome back. This is Bo. Hey, we're going to be revisiting a build we did a couple days ago, the 6x6 build, the 6x6 mining drill. Now, this is what it looked like after we got done drilling. That hole right there went straight through. So the drills were okay, but basically the rest of it is just ruined. So the original had four refineries into a bunch of these large containers and not a whole lot of, like, armor or structure to it, really. An ass load of gyros and a lot of engines and big old huge thrusters in the back. And this thing just got torn apart because if you look at it, there the problem I had was that there it is, the same size of the drills up front was the same as the back, so you had to be absolutely perfect. So how do we address this in the new one? Well, let's start from the beginning. First, it's the same six by six, okay? I'm not going through and doing anything new. I wanted to see if I could keep the same size. So six by six. One layer behind are a whole bunch of these collectors. So in case there's some dirt or stuff that's just running around, I think this will catch it, maybe. We'll find out. If it does, well, I'll just adjust it by pushing them out a little bit. But for right now, that seems to be okay. I think what I was reading about on the Space Engineers uh, forum, as well as on Reddit when I posted the video, was you need to have another layer of either drills or just something else between the drills so you don't have a lot of impact on your other parts of your ship. So what's on the inside of this thing? It's just a refinery. I put a normal refinery on the inside, just one. I don't really need a lot. Uh, and there is a whole bunch of single storage, so small storage. I got eight of the small inventory storages. Don't really need a whole lot because, I mean, I'm not looking at making a rig where it's just, yeah, there's, there's all of eight of them. Like a rig where you go out for, like, days on end and then dump a ton. I just wanted to build something where it's like, okay, you know, we're going to go out there, grab as much as we possibly can, and I, I don't think I'll be able to fill all those, but we'll find out. I can always add more back here if I need it. There's only, I think, 16 gyros, so eight on each side. Even that's kind of a little bit of overkill. A couple ore detectors, small reactors. I did the small ones rather than the large ones simply because the form factor. The thing that kind of sucks is that the larger ones, like the large uh, re reactors as well as the large containers, use a nine-block print. Whereas the refinery is only a four-block print, which is kind of like uh, lame. If I want to have it be symmetrical... Because on a 6x6, six six, it's a little tough. So really want to do an odd front so that way everything lines up. But that's okay. This will be fine. Uh, in the back, you notice the big knobby wheels. Now, the wheels are so that way if we have up and down movement, the wheels will just move, right? It won't be a big deal, uh, hopefully. Or they at least bump into this and kind of keep everything aligned is my hope. We'll find out how that works. Uh and from side to side movement, I think these wheels will pretty much take the brunt of that. So I'm not too worried. It's not going to win a lot of speed competitions. Okay. I mean, you're not going to be drag stripping with this thing. But at least it goes back forward. It does all the directions we need it to do. And it's got all kinds of drills in the front. So let's. I'm going to go get this thing in position. And we're going to put a hole right underneath it. And when I come back, you'll let's do some drilling. All right, we're pretty much lined up. I just had to move it over here. It takes a long time to move. The thing is definitely not winning any speed competitions, but that's really not going to be a problem. It has about half the mass of the old one. I think the reason is just I'm not using large containers and the large reactor. And it should be, it's a lot shorter. It's about maybe six or eight blocks shorter on the back. So we don't have as many problems of it tipping up and back. So I think this should work out okay. Let's go ahead and get our drills happening. Oh yeah, she is jumping around a little bit. So we're pretty much squared up. So we're gonna just see how this goes. Oh yeah, she wants some more rockets, but that's okay. Okay. I really don't think those collectors are honestly going to do a whole lot. I think we may not have enough engines in order to, to do what we want to do here. Because I think we're going to bounce around quite a bit. Because those thrusters are trying their hardest right now. Okay. 
we'll see how it goes. As soon as it gets into the rock face, it doesn't really seem like it's doing too bad. Now I'm just going full bore straight ahead. I'm not going very quick. Uh, it's not really pushing a whole lot, it looks like. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Just keep an eye on all the the different other stuff. Now I tried my best to make it on the same stuff so I could at least get the similar um, like rocks and such as we got with our last one, but who the hell knows, right? So we're gonna go ahead and it's a lot slower <laughs> than the other one. But that's okay. Could definitely use I think some more more thrusters to kind of keep it pretty steady, but We'll find out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and f give you a very quick version of what's happening. And let's drill through this bad boy. Okay, right away I can see there's a problem. One, the problem being is all the rocks are flying around all over the place. It means our collectors need to come out a bit to actually collect stuff, so. Gonna go ahead and try to pull this thing out and then make that adjustment. Okay, so what changes did we make? Well, we moved these tires forward as far as we could. We added collectors that were a little bit more close. So in this case, they are now four right behind each other. That should be okay. I don't anticipate that being too much of a problem. And if it turns out to be one, well then, we'll just get down that road when we get down that road, eh? All right, so then we move this guy a little closer. Reason is when it's a little bit closer, you can get better angles. Let's go ahead, turn our drills on. Actually, I want to leave them off for just a moment. I want to get in there again. And if I keep bouncing around, I'm just going to get jagged around a bit. There we go. Trick is not moving the damn mouse. Just in case, I think we might as well just turn the damn things on in case we, I don't want to ground them out. Yeah, see, I had a feeling that bottom left one was probably going to ground out. All right. Very good. All right, let me get back in there, guys, and then we'll get started. Okay, and we're back. So let's go ahead and keep a drilling. There we go. Don't you love that angle? So we're just pushing straight through. This is a good angle because you get to see, hopefully those tires will move. So I'm trying to keep an eye. Uh, hopefully the back will stay nice and level. And even if it doesn't, the second that those other tires get in, in play over there, I think we should be good to go. The only one thing I can think of is potentially wanting, I wish the tires were closer together or I had another set. So I didn't have this kind of empty spot right in the middle there. But, <clears throat> you know, you can't be, can't complain. So definitely seeing a lot less kind of free-floating rock. But we'll get in there in a bit. Let's just keep looking at this. All right. So, so far, everything's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of heart attack central happening here. It's definitely bouncing around a little. We're not having nearly the structural damage. And thanks to those collectors up front, I don't see any big chunks of rock or anything else kind of spewing around, messing everything up. So this is a lot better. Way, 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 way better. Yeah, they're just bouncing off those tires, so... Not too bad. We're gonna keep it. I gotta keep an eye on those tires though, because I don't know if that's gonna crumple anything or they're gonna break or anything like that. So let's go ahead so we can get that angle back. Come on, angle. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go see how this thing fares after it digs through the whole thing.
Okay, that was a pretty cool shot, seeing it kind of tear open like that and have a little bit of a, the asteroid left. That was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and shut off the drills so we can kind of minimize the amount of lateral movement happening. Let's just get ourselves out of here and inspect the damage. You can definitely hear that refinery kicking around. <laughs> just hoping to God that it's going to... Okay, so see, we already tapped the top somewhere on there. Now, the real kicker, do not move that damn mouse. That's the thing, right? You have to make sure to hold that alt button. Okay, and we are almost clear. Sweet. So, a little bit of an awkward drill compared to what it was before, but it served its purpose. And I can't say it was very straight, but that's fine. So, just doing a very basic visual inspection. Looks like... Not even a damn panel, not even a single thing is messed up. Nothing. Totally clean. Look at that. Not even a panel messing up, not a buckling, no nothing. All right, let's go hop out. No, no, let's, let's turn it back on, man. Shit, I don't want my thing looking all silly. And take a real close look, because there should be buckling or something. Turn our dealy bop back on. Let's grab out that welder. And just see if we need to... No, nothing on those tires? No, nothing? Oh, a little bit on those tires, it looks like. No, 100% tire. 100% on the tire. 100% there, too. Man, everything is at 100%. Let's see about these drills. No? Guys, yeah, should have been taking something. They didn't. So what we can definitely conclude from this is having those wheels on there helped a lot. Also, of course, if you can imagine, derp, having the drill size high, bigger than the actual machine to take into account all the moving and bobbing and all that stuff. Uh, but... This thing's pretty damn solid. Let's go take a little look in our... I just don't need... doesn't matter what inventory you grab. I just need to get this control panel. Let's take a look at our inventory. So obviously everything's stuck in the refinery. But that's not a, exactly a bad thing. Look at that. 2,000 of that. Hell of a lot of that. Some of that uranium. I think we did pretty good. Let's get rid of that gravel. Uh, let's see. Small cargo container. Let's see if we can just get rid of. All right. Collectors. Lots of collectors. Uh, yeah, hide empty. That's fine. No, nah, that's not good. Anyway, you can see there's an ass load of stuff in here. So we are seriously in good hands. Are you in good hands? Yes, we're in very good hands. Ooh, it's not really happy, though. Oh, that's because I'm not connected to it. That's right, derp. Anywho, uh, yeah, I have to say... This is a much better, much, much, much better design than previous. So if you thought this is all right, let me know your thoughts below. But other than that, guys, this is a real solid, no repair necessary 6x6 miner, and it dug a lot. It was a lot slower than the one up here. But this one damn near disintegrated itself. This one doesn't even have a scratch. So take a little time, be patient, and let this guy just kind of do its thing. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and talk to you guys soon. See ya.